Hey guys, Boston Chris back again with another Ark Survival Evolved video here in our Ark Taming series. And obviously, as you guys know, if you've been following the channel, we have moved on to modded creatures. And we are on Ragnarok, and we are about to tame something that I think is going to be one of the coolest things ever. I'm excited to tame it. I'm excited to tell you guys what it does. This is the Archeo Indris from the Additional Creatures 2 Wild Arc mod. And he is right there, or she rather. She is a giant lemur. Yeah, it's true, a giant lemur. And we tame her with honey glazed strawberries. Now, strawberry seeds is part of the Additional Creatures Wild Arc um, mod, okay? And you get the seeds from regular bushes on a non-modded map. It has to be on a vanilla map to work. And then you take those seeds and you put them into a crop plot of some sort. And you make strawberries. Then you combine the strawberries with honey. And you end up with honey glazed strawberries that the Archeo Indris will absolutely destroy your face for. It's true. Okay. Now the interesting thing is... The females, you can walk right up to her, and you can see that she's just walking around, and she's not tameable. But as soon as she sits down, she's like, yo, feed me, right? See? And so now, I'm going to feed her her favorite treat, which is the honey glazed strawberries. And when she is seated, she will take her favorite treat. And that's because, much like the rest of, um, like me, you know, I'm a very fat person as well. I don't like to eat my favorite treat while I'm walking around and stuff, right? So usually what I do is I will sit my fat ass at a table, and then I will eat pizza. And I'm liable to be tamed by the time I'm done eating that pizza. And that's what we're doing with this one, right? She will not, she will not allow herself to be tamed unless she's seated. So we're just going to wait until she's hungry again. I imagine she's probably also um, under the same spell as uh, the rest of the passive creatures in this game. Where it takes forever to go from the first feeding to the second feeding. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is tell you guys a little bit about the Archeo Indris. That makes me extremely excited to have one. Because this little giant lemur is the ticket for us to tame some giant, giant creatures um, and cool creatures with this animal. All right, and I'm going to explain. Now, the write-up of the Archeo Indris says that it is a massive lemur and it is native to the island's more tropical environments. That means you're going to find them in the jungle, right? Despite its size, the mammal is a giant, a gentle giant, unless it's provoked. Um, it will usually utilize their brute strength in, um, in defense. However, these primates are smarter than most and can be trained a unique trick in lieu of a similar animal, the Calicotherium. When tamed, the Archaeoindris can be fitted with a smithy type saddle that allows them to craft multiple items within their inventory okay but most importantly you can craft ammunition on the fly now I'm gonna explain what that means Survivors have taught the Archeo Indris to be able to throw three different types of projectiles. The first thing that it will throw are ballista harpoons. The second thing that it will throw are shot puts or iron balls. And the third thing that it will throw are chain bowlers. Now, why is this cool? 
Now, if you're a ARC aficionado like I am, then you probably already know why these things are cool. The first reason why they're cool is because Ballista Harpoons, um, I believe, will help you kill underwater animals faster. The Shot Put, a.k.a. Iron Balls, should help you tame creatures like the Rock Elemental, the Astrocetus, and the... Titanoboa, which all three, you have to use cannonballs to give torpor to them. You hit them with a cannonball to the head, and that introduces torpor to them. This creature alone will be able to throw a shot put ball at those three creatures' head and give it torpor. Meaning, this little giant lemur will help you tame the Astrocetus, the Titana, uh, Titanosaur, maybe I said Titanoboa earlier, and the Rock Elemental. The third projectile that it throws is the Chain Bola. Now, if you know what I know, the Chain Bola is absolutely instrumental in taming the Tropi Ignathus. And the problem with that is, is the chain, the thing that throws the or or launches the chain bola, I think it's the ballista turret, if I'm not mistaken, is is a very um, uh, standard thing. It doesn't move. You cannot move it. It's stationary, right? This is a mobile ballista turret, which means you can move it around and can chain bola the tropi ignathus. To help you tame the trope. That's what this Archeo Indris will do. So how do you do those things? The first thing is, is you can tell it to sit in its radial wheel. That's I, I think uh, that's if you uh, press R on it. Um, the left click does a bite. It also harvests berries, corpses, and fiber. After all, this is a omnivore. So it will harvest both plants and meat. The right click is an arm slam, and that can't be done when you're moving. The arm slam does good damage and really good knockback. Okay. C, if you push the C key, it gives like a taunt aesthetic. So like it'll taunt creatures, which does nothing. It's just aesthetic. And X is to throw the selected player ammo type. Now it can throw ballista, anything that can, uh, the ballista turret, the chain bola, shot put. It can throw jars of pitch, which means that you can throw the jar of pitch and it will explode, leaving fire behind in its wake. And when you press left control, you can cycle through the different ammo types. And as long as it has the ammunition in its inventory, you will then be able to throw whatever selected ammo type it is with X. So those are the things that the Archeo Indris does. We are dealing with the long, long time between the first and second feeding as normal. Um, one thing I could do, uh, to be fair, is I could throw out my Binturong and increase its food drain. Now I have to add another mod to my mod server. Thank you for that. No problem. Arc additional creatures to... I'm sorry. Additional creatures to Wild Arc is the name of this mod. There are um, currently... 65 different creatures on this mod. It also adds different items, different crafting materials, and a bunch of um, weaponry and different crafting tables. Um, it adds the AK-47, the M4A1, uh, um, a new sniper rifle, a couple of new pistols. There's a whole, It's a really in-depth mod if you're not familiar with it. And a whole lot of creatures that have um that have utility in the game like this one the archeo indris has extreme utility i'm gonna have a lot of fun taming rock elementals with this creature we'll use this it'll be two of us 
We're going to use this and a snow owl. And we'll just go up to the rock elemental with the snow owl and freeze him. And then after it's frozen with the snow owl, we will slam it in the head uh, with, with this guy here. And hopefully we will tame a rock elemental that way. We are going to actually put that in a, a video in the future when we test it. So if you are not subscribed to the YouTube, make sure you do that, guys. If you're on Twitch watching, it's exclamation point YT. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, then just hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. And ring the bell, too, so you'll have notifications on. So, again, super simple. Strawberry seeds, get, you get them from regular bushes on non-modded maps. Take the seeds, put them into a crop plot, make strawberries. Turn the strawberries into honey glazed strawberries by adding honey. In your inventory here is the um, engram for that. It's uh, level 60. So you have to be at least level 60 to tame one of these guys. And then put that uh, honey glazed strawberry in your hot bar in the zero slot. And wait for them to sit. And that's it. Go up, press E, and yeah, GG. Now, his food is extremely low now because of the Binturong. Now, I'm just waiting for him to, um, to sit down. Her, it's a her. See, she's ready to eat. She's just not sit sitting down. Come on, sit. Sit down. Why is she not sitting now? This is getting annoying. I waited all that time between the first and second feeding while she sat nearly the whole time. Was it nighttime before? Um, when I started to tame, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, there she goes. I heard the damn OSD drop, and I was like, you better not, dude. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, then you may not know, but we have OSDs uh, using simple spawners on Ragnarok. And we had them on Kabbalah, some modded map, um, too. And anytime we were taming something, or not anytime, but sometimes, the OSDs would drop. Um, and then kill whatever we were taming, even if it was nowhere near the OSD. Now she seems to just be sitting. So now her food is super low because of the um, because of the binturong. So now she's she's just gonna eat really fast now. Um, if you're not familiar with a binturong, that is also part of the Ark Additional Creatures Wild Ark mod. Um, it's this thing on my shoulders. It's basically a otter reskin. And it causes uh, something called popcorn scent. And the popcorn scent um, increases food drain on anything within its range. Any wild creature within its range. So it's kind of like it does the same thing that the Pachyrhinosaurus does through the Better Dinos mod. But yeah, there we go. We have our first ever... Andreo Indris, or Arche sorry, Archeo Indris. Really cool, a dino. We got uh, uh, 49 points of movement speed. Which, I'm going to be honest, normally I don't want movement speed in a creature. This might be the one creature that I want movement speed in. Because we're going to have to move fairly quickly when we're shooting stuff. So that's really cool. 
Um, yeah, so guys, if you're watching my YouTube for the first time ever and you enjoyed this video, please show some love. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you down the road.